actually cold out here so since I'm on this new old lady journey I thought I would wait until I was having a hot flash to come out and show you the garden so far what's come up become of the fall garden my okra is still hanging strong there's my um, speckled leaf lettuce I'm gonna have me a salad today my tomatoes are done for I should probably just uh, make some fried green tomatoes at this point. This was my first year doing the verbena. The verbena is actually holding up in the cold so far. It's like a high of 57 or something. Getting over that high flash right now. <laughs> I spent half of it finding the camera to come out here in, in the proper light jacket. But anyway, here's my Meyer lemon. It doesn't seem to be sad at all that it's chilly out here. Stevia is thriving and in fact looks to appreciate the cold weather. The uh, peppers have taken a break. This is a pimento. Um, you can see I chopped them both back a lot, like a good foot at least. Started, there's a flower in there starting. Same for this one. This is sweet pepper and that's pimento. I was thinking about growing pimento inside over the winter. Mother verbena. As soon as the leaves start to drop, I'm going to um, chop this completely down again and, uh, you know, harvest the leaves. This was the mother stevia. She's done for. The birds are having a meeting. I guess they're getting ready to do their south for winter thing. More okra ready to be harvested from both sides. One over here and then there's the one over there. Step back so you can see it. corner raised bed I've scalped everything mister has pulled I think I'll just start calling him mister because new subscribers aren't gonna know who creaky is so mister has pulled my uh, kale at the back uh, I wanted to keep them growing through the I wanted to keep them growing throughout the fall just to see you know what would happen and how big they would get but they were getting too tall to really harvest from that high that's number two and number one they were being attacked like that uh, one was being demolished by cabbage worms um, once I pulled that one they started um, getting to the rest of them so I wound up having him pull all of them I don't see my spinach coming up I don't see my bok choy coming up hmm I'm not sure what to make of that because it is certainly chilly enough for them them all to thrive out here. My um, collars, and I have both of my collars coming up. The uh, chocolate mints doing okay. I see a lower leaf that's got damage. I'll cut that right off. This is the purple basil I was looking to get seeds from. Ooh, that looks bad. That looks bad. That's my purple cabbage. And these are all these random uh, speckled lettuce plants. So what I think I'm going to do here is my are my peppers. I thought they were all sweet red peppers, but apparently I have a yellow one there. I have a lot that did not turn red on here. Are they turning? Do they want to turn? Oh, wow! Even more than I thought. They're not turning. They don't seem to be turning red anytime soon I may just have to use them green if need be it looks horrible over here it's a real drizzly day there's a worm right on top hey boo yeah I think I'm just gonna start a whole new slew of purple cabbage to plant over here a succinction of harvests so this whole patch over here looks terrible but if I time it properly I can start them now uh, up on the deck and once they get a certain size and un, you know damaged by insects and birds then I can put them over there like I want them to be. Okra still beautiful and still producing just extremely slowly now. You can see the flowers are, have dried up. Some of the leaves have done the same they know it's time to uh, they know it's not their time of year yep that's it